Hello and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Silverhawks Wave 2 announcement. Very, very exciting, okay? Um, just a little bit of context here. This is Super 7. They announced Wave 1 a few months ago. Um, I thought they looked great. I know there was a lot of controversy on uh, some people thought they should have been chrome. Some people thought they should be vac metal. Some people liked it because... They're like the original cartoon color. Some said, said cell shaded. Lots of different opinions. But regardless, I'm excited for this line. And really, the thing that's going to answer all of these questions for a lot of us is seeing them in hand. So when that's going to happen, we don't know. This is Super 7. They take their time, take their sweet time. But uh, in the meantime, they have announced uh, Wave 2. And uh, let's just... Uh, so uh, right here, the balance between the crime-fighting Silverhawks and Monstar and his mobsters has the limbo galaxy on a razor's edge. Super 7's newest wave of Silverhawks Ultimates may just tip the scales of power. Pre-order now, and then uh, you can take a look at uh, at the lineup right here. So let's go through them, okay? Uh, number one, we got uh, Mr. Uh, Steel Will right here, and uh, one half of the, the, the Hart Twins, Sergeant Will Hart, a.k.a. Steel Will, and his cyborg modification give him enhanced speed, and uh, you can just kind of get a shot of here, his accessories, uh, you get the, now, uh, they don't do the little open wing flap thing, but, uh, they come with wings, uh, uh wing arms that you can kind of put on them. He's got the guns. Um, he's got, what are these little things? I don't know what, oh, the little, uh, uh, uh teeth thing. That's pretty cool. And, uh, he of course comes with his bird, uh, stronghold and you could get him in just the, uh, flying bird form and you can get him on the, uh, perched, uh, perch form and then he's got the uh the the mask that kind of has that football helmet look and yeah so he'll, he'll look uh he'll look really good with his uh with his sister and uh can't wait to just kind of have these all together by the way with this line uh who's left uh copper kid is uh, from the main line i think copper kid and then um uh, uh commander stargazer but i mean if we're just talking silver hawks you got copper kid you also got hot wing as well sort of later silver hawks but uh this will kind of complete the, uh, the the core line sans copper kid. Um, the uh, uh, the screaming blaster, that's what it's called. Okay, I'm like, I know that thing has a name. Moving on, my guy, Bluegrass, okay? Uh, uh, I always love this guy. This guy's just a lot of fun. He's just some cowboy with a guitar, okay? Voiced by the same dude who did Lionel, FYI, okay? They just gave him a new job after Thundercats was done. They're like, hey, you want to be... Want to be a cowboy on Silverhawk? Sure, I'll take the job. Larry, Kenny, 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 I, Kenny, I think. Um, but uh, Bluegrass is the only Silverhawk whose cyber enhancements don't include wings or built-in weapons. Yeah, no wings. He's the dude that flies the Mirage. And then he's got uh, his uh, bird uh, uh, sideman there. And he looks cool. He's got the two different guitars. And I like that he has the beam. And then he's got, like, the musical beam that comes out. He's got three heads, one smiling head one kind of winking all creepy head and then he's got like the mohawk and obviously you can put the uh the cowboy hat uh, the cowboy hat the cowboy hat on him and uh yeah comes with a slew of accessories a slew i like that word so bluegrass i wonder if they're going to even try to go for uh for the uh for the mirage that would be crazy just a giant vehicle these things are big anyway that would cost seven thousand dollars i don't know it would be expensive um Next up, uh, Windhammer. I always love this villain's uh, MO. He, uh, so when Windhammer and his weather-controlling tuning fork are around, the forecast is a 100% chance of evil mayhem. This guy was always cool because he would spin that tuning fork and then he would aim it at you and then you'd get like, I, it was in space, so how's their weather? But who cares? Uh, blizzards or lightning or whatever shit. And uh, so I, I always like this guy's deal. Comes with two heads. Uh, straight hair and then wild hair screaming and uh, you know you get some uh, some wind effects um, and he's bulky he looks like he's bulky what else yeah tuning for spinning effects and all that so he will make uh, sort of a great addition to the to the mobsters and then my favorite uh, monstar okay now this is this is uh, regular monster. This is pre transform monster. The Galactic Mob Boss monster might actually be scarier without his enhanced robotic armor. This is one of those guys that I actually liked him. I liked him. I think I like him more in this form. I don't know. I like the wild hair and the and 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 the eyes and the teeth and all this. Um, I don't know. It's a toss up. It's uh, the robot form is awesome too. Uh, but yeah. So monster 
Comes with uh, 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 two different hands, well, three in total. And then he's got uh, Sky Shadow. And you can get Sky Shadow in a beast form, and you get him in the sleeping perched uh, 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 form. And he's got uh, just a slew of hands. And uh, probably, it looks like he's got some, uh, it looks like he's, he's pretty tall as well. So, uh, love that they're coming out with this Monstar. If you remember the original toy, you never got this figure. The most you got is you got regular robot Monstar, and he had a flip head. And you get this guy's head that pops up. It never made any sense, because it was like this guy's head on the Monstar body. Okay, So, uh, pre-transformation Monstar coming out. But then, but wait, there's more. So you get the whole way for $220, but if you go $265, or if you pay $45 extra, you get Monstar's Throne, all right? Which, you guys know, if I'm going to get Monstar, I'm going to need the Throne, so you're making me buy this. Uh, but here we go. Moonstar of Limbo, give me the Knight, the Muscle, the Menace of Monstar. Monstar transforms his mighty armor, save, becomes truly frightful, but without the transformation chamber, a throne to enable the metamorphosis. I, I, whatever you can't make it work without the fucking throne okay you need monstar he's got to be sitting on something right everybody loves a good throne here you go transformation chamber throne and uh and yeah doesn't include anything no articulation just a hunk of plastic 45 bucks that's dirty pool actually i don't know i don't know what these things cost but i'm assuming it's kind of expensive for a throne um but uh what am I going to do? I'm going to not get the throne. I'm not going to get the monster throne. What am I going to get it on the next, uh, you know, the next go around? Whoever else decides to make silver hawks, this might be it. So I'm going to get the throne. Okay. Everybody already knew that. But anyway, I'm super excited about this line. I want to get one of them in hand, get wave one out there. Uh, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Wave one, wave two. I know it doesn't mean much until you get some of it in hand. At least Thundercats were getting in hand, so now we can kind of be a little excited about it. Silverhawks, who knows? I got to see. That'll that'll help to sharpen the debate on Chrome versus Vac Metal versus all that. We just get one of them in hand. But uh, we will see when that happens. Shipping, who knows? 2023, is it going to be Dune out there? Are we going to be riding sound, sandworms when this comes out? Who knows? But uh, we'll see. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about Silverhawks Wave 2. Drop me a like, drop me a comment, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.